Registering for an Iliad Interlibrary Loan account is easy. We have two ways for you to create your account. The first, and probably most efficient, is through most of our databases. Here, you register while you are researching your topic. I will demonstrate registering via the databases using OneSearch, but the steps are the same in all the databases that are connected to the Iliad Interlibrary Loan forms. From the library homepage, access your database and perform your search. On the results page, review your options. Items marked with the Request This Item Through Interlibrary Loan link are most likely not available through the library. Normally, you will review the abstract to make certain the item will be useful in your research. Once you have determined the article is useful, click Request This Item Through Interlibrary Loan. To log in, Use your six-digit ISU or Bengal ID number and last name. If your ID has more than six digits, use only the last six. If you are at home and already logged in to the library databases, you may need to log in again. Next, the new Iliad Interlibrary Loan User registration page appears. Fields marked with a red asterisk are required. Although fairly self-explanatory, here are some fields to note. You do need to re-enter your six-digit ISU or Bengal ID number. You must use your at isu.edu email address. If you want your notices to be sent to another account, you will need to forward your ISU email to your desired email account. Enter the address where you are currently living. This helps us to identify the types of service you are eligible for. This is especially important if you are on your clinical rotations for your program. Your status is the second item we use to help identify the appropriate services. Distance indicates to us that you are not attending classes or live near the Pocatello campus. If you live outside of a 25-mile radius of Pocatello, you are considered distance. A list of cities and towns considered local is available on the Interlibrary Loan LibGuide. The URL for the LibGuide is available at the end of this tutorial. Status also includes your student, faculty, or staff designation. Select the department that best fits your major or field. If you have not yet declared a major, select Undeclared. Delivery location is the third and final piece for determining eligible services. Select the campus closest to you. For example, if you are in the Idaho Falls area or wouldn't mind driving to the Idaho Falls campus, select Idaho Falls. The same applies to the Meridian campus. For those distance or remote students or faculty who do not live near the Idaho Falls or Meridian campuses, select Pocatello as your delivery location even though you are not near the, the Pocatello campus. Finally, click Submit Information. If your submission is successful, you will be brought to your Iliad in Interlibrary Loan account main menu, which you will see later. Now I will demonstrate how to register for an account via the library homepage in case you would like to register for an account but aren't quite ready to order anything. Starting from the library homepage, hover over My Library Account and then select Interlibrary Loan Account. As with registering through the databases, you will be prompted to log in. Use your six-digit ISU or Bengal ID number and your last name. Complete the form and click Submit Information. If successful, you will see your Iliad Interlibrary Loan Account main menu. You only need to register once. Your account will remain active as long as you are affiliated with the university. If any of your profile information changes, you can make edits in the Iliad Interlibrary Loan main menu. If you have any problems or questions, please contact us via any of these methods. Thank you for watching.